In this video, we're going to have a look at how to determine the equation of an exponential function. Even though the standard form for an exponential function consists of an a, b, p and q value, by making use of exponential laws, any p value can be rewritten as an a value. Therefore, when you need to determine the equation of an exponential function and no specifications are given, you can use the equation y is equal to a times b to the power of x plus q. Example 1. Determine the equation of the given function. In this case, no specific standard equation is given, so we will use y is equal to a times b to the power of x plus q. And just like when we sketched an exponential function, we start off with the asymptote. And in this case, that is given as y is equal to 6, which means that q is equal to 6. Now we need to determine the values for a and b, and we were given two extra coordinates on our sketch. If one of the given coordinates is an x or y intercept, I will advise you to always substitute that one first. So I'm going to substitute the y value with 4 and the x value with 0. If I now subtract the 6 on the left, I will have minus 2 and b to the power of 0 is 1, which means that a is equal to minus 2. And now we need to determine the b value by substituting the second coordinate. So my y value is minus 12 and the x value is 2. And my next step would be to subtract the 6 on the left hand side. And after that, I can divide both sides by minus 2. So b squared is equal to 9. If I do the square root on both sides, b will be equal to 3. Although algebraically, we should say that b is equal to plus or minus 3, in the first video on exponential functions, we already mentioned that b can never be negative. So in this case, b will be 3. This means that the final equation is y is equal to minus 2 times 3 to the power of x plus 6. Example 2. In the sketch, the function y is equal to 2 to the power of x plus p plus q is given. Determine the values of p and q. So here it is mentioned that there is no a value, but there is a p value that you need to determine. Again, we're going to start by looking at the horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 1, which means that the q value is 1. So in the given equation, we now have 2 to the power of x plus p plus 1. To determine the value of p, we were given another coordinate, which we can substitute into x and y's place. y will change to 5 and x will change to 1, and now we can solve p in the exponent. I'm going to start off subtracting the 1 on the left to get 4, and now to solve a value in the exponent, we need to get the base numbers the same. 4 is the same as 2 to the power of 2. And now that the base numbers are the same, we know that the exponent left has to be equal to the exponent right, which means that the p-value is 1. 